Welcome to Roblox Scripting Tutorials video number three. Today we're going to be talking about loops. So come over here to your base plate. Then come to the right to server script service. Right click it. Insert object script. Make this bigger. Delete everything you don't need. All right. So I'm going to show you an example of, of a loop and then I'll explain it. For I equals 1, 10, do, and then you click enter, print, I. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to repeat print I 10 times. So when we make a loop, we have to define what number we're going to start at. We're going to start at number 1. We're going to go all the way up until number 10, and each time it goes up by 1, each time the code repeats. And we're gonna and if we want to know what number currently the loop is on, we use i because we said i equals one to ten. So if we print i, oh let's test this. Actually we have to add a weight. Come back to your code, weight zero point five. And if we come up here to test and click play, we can see every point five seconds it prints a new number down here. And that's the i value that shows us what number this code is currently on. What if we want to go up by 2 each time? We can do comma 2. And this will start at 1 and go all the way up to 10, but each time it will go up by 2. Let's test this. We can see it goes 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and then stops at 9 because it can't go any higher. Also, to go over 10. We can use this same principle for going down. So what if we want to start at 10 and go all the way to 1? We'd have to do minus 1 after that to tell the script to go down by minus 1 each time, starting at 10 all the way down to 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in the output. If you don't see some of these menus, remember you can come up here to view and then you can select the menus that you need. Or if you don't see the one you want there, right click on any menu that you currently have and you can select which one you want from here too. Alright, let's look at another type of loop. So another type of loop is the while the wow loop. Wow true do and we can do print high wait one. So we've used this loop before. So what it does is while true, so while the game is running, it's going to print high, wait one. So we can come up here to test and click play. And it just keeps printing high down the output. We can also combine that loop and the one the first one we covered. So while or for i uh, equals one ten do print it doesn't have to be print i you can do anything you can do changing brick color printing high it really doesn't matter and you can see oh yeah we forgot to set a value here <laughs> also when you guys are doing well true do loops you have to have a weight in it somewhere you can't if you don't have a weight let's test this don't test this i'm just going to show you what happens your game just won't load. It's just going to crash. I have to get out of this now. Alright, so you always have to have the wait. Alright. Let's come into your workspace here. Right click, insert a part, insert another part, and come up here to the Explorer, or come over here, highlight both of them, and hit Control G. If we come up here to our Explorer menu, we see that now we've created a model. So now if we take one and drag it around, both of them will be selected. Come up here to your model and name one of the parts, part one, and the other one, part two. Come back to your script, delete that. Make a variable named my model. And that's going to be set to game.workspace.model. 
because that's what our model's name is, and that's where it's located. <sighs> Sorry. So we're going to make another type of loop. This one's also a for loop. For underscore comma v in pairs my model get children and then put parentheses around that whole my model get children thing and click do end. So what this does is it looks at the model gets all of its children so everything that's inside of the model and it's going to repeat whatever code we put in here the amount of, for the amount of children it has. So in this case it has two children so it's going to repeat whatever we put in here twice and we're going to write print v dot name. So if we come up here right beside the four we see that we've created two variables. We've created an underscore variable and a v variable. So what the underscore variable is is the current number you're on and the v is the current object you're dealing with. So we can also write print actually let's change that underscore to an i and we're going to do print i and then print v dot name and then we're going to wait for one second so if we come down here we see that it prints one and then part one and then two and then part two because when it goes through the code the first time it goes to part one and when it goes through the code the second time it goes to part two alright you guys have just created your first loop so this week's scripting challenge is going to be similar to last week we're gonna make the word loop and we're gonna I'm just gonna do LO just to show you guys the example you guys are gonna highlight the whole thing control G to make it a group and using the loop I just showed you you guys are gonna make it change to a random brick color each time or e every one second okay this is better because you don't have to put a script inside each brick you just have to put one script that will change the brick color for the whole thing alright uh, make sure you guys post your submissions on discord on the uh, submission is it submission let's see the discord coding challenge uh, channel. Other than that, have fun. The winner of this week's scripting challenge is he managed to make two functions and the background change color. Congratulations. Remember you can post your own submissions on the Discord coding challenge channel. The link for the Discord is in the description. Have fun. I know,